Hello mateys, my name is Myra. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are safe and enjoying time with family. And um, this week I'm going to be starting off with a new um, series and it's called Pirates. And we'll be joining Captain Buckle Boots on his adventures to find God's um, special treasure for the next five weeks. But before we begin, a uh, question. So, what is your favorite video game? Because um, my one is Sims 4. I don't know if you guys play that, but I really do love simulation games. So, Sims 4 is like, like my personal favorite one. And um, let's begin. So, at first, I'd like to ask you guys to please bring out your Bibles. I always have my one here. So, yeah. And um, today, we'll be talking about God's special people. I wrote it down here, so I don't make a mistake. God's special people. And um, it's we're taking from Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 13. So if you mind opening your Bibles up to Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 18. And if you don't know how to open your Bible yet, ask your mom or your dad. And they will gladly help you. Okay. So when you have time um, after this video, or you can pause now and just read through, you know, your Bible on, on what Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 13 says. Um, so today we're talking about a God's special people and our story for today will be focusing on um, Abraham. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard about Abraham. Father Abraham has many sons. Yeah, Abraham. Um, so we'll be talking about how God told Abraham to go to a new place. So he lived in a particular land and God said that okay, it's time for him to him and his and, and his entire family, like his entire clan, to move out of that place to his to his to a new um, land or location that um, God is going to tell them to go to and they d didn't actually know how to get there, what ways to pass, like, you know, how, what roads to take, what bed, what stops to, you know, stop at or maybe to turn left or right, they didn't know where to go. They are literally just being led by God. So God told Abraham to tell his not well, to get his family and his entire clan um, to move out of the land they were currently at to a land that he was going to tell them, he had promised them and he was going to show them how to get there. So Abraham gathered his friends, his family, Molech, and you know, anyone who was willing to go with him and it started on their journey. And um, at night they would go to sleep because, I mean, it's dark and you need to rest. But during the day they would listen for God's directions on where exactly to go because they didn't know where they were going. They were just going according to God's directions. And finally, when they got to um, the land God had promised them, they heard, well, like Abraham heard, heard God say, literally, stop. And that's where, that's when they knew okay, they had gotten to um, the land God had promised them. And the reason why God promised him that um, land is because, you know, Abraham is God's special person. And because we are you know uh, we were we came forth after abraham came forth so that's why we are also god's special people so everything that god promised father abraham we are going to also inherit that so that's why god told him to go to a new place because he was special to god and god held him with high esteem and yeah <laughs> so it's a pretty interesting story because it's, it's kind of weird not weird but like it's it's, it's this day and age, like if not for Google, like a lot of people will be lost. But imagine if you didn't have Google, like back in the day, you didn't have Google, you didn't have like, I mean, I knew, I know back then they had like stars and stuff to direct them on where to go. But this was, the stars, they didn't, they didn't even know what direction to go and go towards because, you know, they didn't know where exactly, like they didn't know where they were supposed to go to. But he had to listen to God's word and God's instructions and God's directions and okay, it's time for you, to get, for you guys to turn left, now it's time for you guys to, you know, turn right, follow this bend, don't follow that bend, keep going straight, and he was just being led by God's direction. It might seem very daunting, it might seem very, very hard to do because you're like, how do I know? But with time, and by the time, you know, you pray and you listen to God's word, you will know when God is speaking to you and know when God is telling you to go in a particular direction. And that's what Abraham did, and he got to the promised land that God told him to get to. And yeah. But today our memory verse will be taken from Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. And I would like you guys to please open your Bibles to Deuteronomy chapter Deuteronomy. It's also in the Old Testament. Old Testament, I forgot to say that. Genesis is in the Old Testament, it's the very first book of the Bible. Deuteronomy is also in the Old Testament. It's like three to five books after. So 
um, <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2, and that says, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord has chosen thee to be peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. And I'm going to read that again slower. <laughs> for thou art for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. And this basically means that we're God's special people. Voila, the title of the video. We're God's special people because he has chosen us to be above every other person because he held he um, has he holds us at um, high self high esteem. And that's why everything he has promised us, every promise, every blessing that is written in his word, which is the Bible, will be ours because we are his special people. Because he treasures us, he values us, he loves us, and he cares about us too much to let us, you know, go through stress and tribulations. I'm going to end this video with a very short prayer. Father Lord, I just want to say thank you for today. Thank you Lord for your grace, for your mercy. Thank you Lord for the people who clicked on this video to watch this video and let them be blessed by your word through this video. Let them be imparted by your word and let them remember that they are your special people and you have the treasures on earth that are kept for us because we are your special people and help us Lord to learn to follow you and to follow your word and listen to you wholeheartedly without any prejudice, without any questioning in any way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for all what you have done in Jesus name I have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.